Are you struggling to connect your JavaScript code to a Neo4j database? It can be really frustrating when things don't work as expected, especially when you're excited to dive into your project. But don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to troubleshoot the connection issue with the NeoBolt driver in JavaScript. I totally get it. You're trying to run your code, and suddenly, you see an error that says you can't read properties of undefined. That's a common hurdle many developers face. You're definitely not alone in this. Let's take a closer look at your specific situation. You mentioned that you're trying to create a connection between your HTML embedded JavaScript and your Neo4j database. The error you're encountering suggests that the Neo4j library isn't being recognized. Sound familiar? Let's dig into this together. So what's happening here? The error indicates that the Neo4j object is undefined, which usually means that the library isn't loaded correctly. This can happen if the script tag isn't pointing to the right location or if there's an issue with the library itself. Let's break it down step by step. And stick around. I'll share a pro tip at the end that will help you avoid these kinds of issues in the future. You won't want to miss it. To begin resolving the issue, the user should ensure that the Neo4j JavaScript driver is correctly included in their HTML file. This is done by checking the script tag in the index.html file. Next, the user should verify that the path to the neo4j.min.js file is correct. If the file is not found, it could lead to the undefined error. Now the user needs to ensure that the Neo4j driver is properly initialized in their JavaScript code. This involves using the correct syntax to create a driver instance. Additionally, the user should confirm that they are using the correct authentication credentials. The username and password must match those set in the Neo4j database. Finally, the user should check the browser console for any additional error messages. This can provide further insights into what might be going wrong. Fun fact, did you know that Neo4j is one of the most popular graph databases out there? It's used by companies like eBay and LinkedIn to manage complex data relationships. Pretty cool, right? Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to check the server name. They point out that you are using the alias localhost, which might be causing the issue. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always check your script paths and initialization code when you encounter issues. This simple habit can save you a lot of time and frustration in the long run. And there you have it. By ensuring your script is linked correctly and your driver is initialized properly, you should be able to establish that connection. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and let's keep your coding journey smooth and successful.